This is the XFX RX 590 Fat Boy. It's got a pretty beefy cooler and some pretty decent airflow from these fans. And to tear it down, it's not much to it. You got your four main GPU screws and then two more towards the front of the IO. Now the good thing is, is that it gives you a lot of clearance with this cable. Be careful, I already broke the corner here and you can pull those pins out. So because of all the clearance, I can move this around no problem to clean up what I need to. Now one thermal pad got stuck and another one did tear, but I'm not too worried about it. Now, we're not gonna replace the thermal pads on these because these are just running just fine. It's really the GPU core that was getting really hot. You can see the core itself, it's kind of scarred. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but it looks like something like kind of wasn't covered completely with thermal paste uh, stock from the factory. So it kind of etched into the actual GPU die. Uh, the four screws that I'm talking about are around the GPU, one, two, three, four. And then you got two more over here, one towards the bottom, towards the PCIe slot, one towards the top. The other screws are just to re release this back plate if you really need to. But replacing the thermal pads on this would be like adding a turbo to a Geo Metro. It's not really worth it. The, the memory are nowhere near overheating from what I turned to find out. It's really the core, so we're just gonna replace the thermal paste put this back together and then see what the results are or the difference is. Really, are, I'm concerned about that GPU die being scarred like that, but we'll have to see what the results are. So let's put some thermal paste on this and get back to it. So I had the capability of testing and tuning the RX 590 over the past few days. We were able to drop the temperatures, but I'm still in the red on Hive, as you will see here in a minute. We're currently at the hottest my house will ever be, even throughout the summer, an air ambient temperature during the day of 79 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Inside the tent, it's 105, 106. And if you see here, we'll switch over. The core on the 590 is at 74 degrees Celsius. Now, don't worry about the mega hash. The mega hash is reading it correctly because I got to do some further tuning and I bumped it to an issue on the initial boot up that the card was pulling 190 watts for some odd reason and no matter what clocks, core, mem, uh, voltage I set, it would not take, it would not actually stick. So that's an issue that I have to fix on my end, but that's not impeding or impacting the thermal. So thermal specifically have dropped six to four degrees depending on what we look at here for example 78 on this uh test scenario uh 73 on a very cool night and i know it could have been much cooler 77 here 76 here so on and so forth and it has caused issues where the system restarted now at the top you see some choppiness that was actually me doing some extra work on other gpus not so much the 590 causing the restarts so remember the problem Problematic GPUs were the power color number GPU number seven and the XFX stick GPU number eight But the 590 will cause one every now and then and it has not done so and it's been more stable And that is the goal to get my system 24 7 365 stable and even though we may not have dramatically improved thermals It is still a huge benefit when it comes to uptime uh, personally would you or should you consider doing a copper shim mod? Not on a card like this, maybe on a 3000 series GPU where you're hitting those thermal limits on your memory, yes. But again, just like we've seen with the power color card, uh, because of the surface area or so the size of the heat sink, you only have so much surface area to dissipate that heat. And then when you do improve uh, memory dissipation or memory thermals, uh, you know, the heat being drawn out into the heat sink, now you're gonna increase core temperatures. So you gotta find that balance for you, your setup, your GPU, and your ambient air temperature. But that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. Uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out links in the description to help support the channel. Like the dogelord.com where you can get some sweet Serpent X merch and much more. You all have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.